Welcome to the self-evaluation episode of the ASCO University weekly podcast. My name is Dr. Karen Wingfield, and I am Associate Director for Cancer Health Equity and Director of Hematologic Radiation Oncology at the Comprehensive Cancer Center at Wake Forest Baptist Health in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Today, we feature a self-evaluation question on the treatment of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and we begin by reading the question step. A 57-year-old woman presents with some dyspepsia and reflux-like symptoms and was noted to have a microcytic anemia. Laboratory results are a hemoglobin of 11.9 grams per deciliter, MCV of 80, ferritin 10 nanograms per milliliter, and iron saturation of 4%. She takes NSAIDs for osteoarthritis of her knees. An EGD was performed, identifying mucosal abnormalities that were biopsied, revealing the presence of a mucosal-associated lymphoma tissue lymphoma that was CD5 negative, CD10 negative, CD20 positive, CD23 negative positive, CD43 negative positive, cyclin D1 negative, and BCL2 follicles negative. Lymphoma was limited to the stomach, but invaded through the muscularis propria. Helicobacter pylori were identified. Chromosomal abnormality revealed the presence of an 1118 translocation by fluorescence in situ hybridization. What is the most appropriate next step in the management of this patient? Choices? A. Observation. B. H. pylori eradication therapy alone with triple therapy. C. H. pylori eradication therapy with triple therapy followed by involved site radiation therapy. Or D. Bone marrow biopsy with aspirate followed by systemic chemotherapy. The correct answer to this question is C. H. pylori eradication followed by involved site radiation therapy. In this case, the presence of an 1118 translocation portends a less than 5% response to H. pylori eradication therapy alone. Translocation 1118 is the most common translocation resulting in the formation of a chimeric fusion gene that is associated with poor response to H. pylori eradication therapy. Briefly, the other choices presented in this question do not represent the most appropriate therapy for the following reasons. Observation may be considered for asymptomatic stage 3 or 4 disease. In the case presented, our patient had localized symptomatic disease that should be treated. Triple therapy alone also would not be the most appropriate therapy. This would technically be Lugano stage 1E2 disease because it has advanced through the muscularis propria, and thus, even without an 1118 translocation mutation, this tumor may fail H. pylori therapy. Overall prognosis is excellent in malt lymphoma treated with radiation therapy, with a cancer-specific overall survival rate at 10 years of 98%. Therefore, the addition of chemotherapy would not have much added benefit in this particular case. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the ASCO University Weekly Podcast. For more information on the treatment of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, visit the Comprehensive eLearning Center at university.asco.org. The purpose of this podcast is to educate and to inform. This is not a substitute for professional medical care and is not intended for use in the diagnosis or treatment of individual conditions. Guests on this podcast express their own opinions, experience, and conclusions. The mention of any product, service, organization, activity, or therapy should not be construed as an ASCO endorsement.